let's look at two different ways of changing your Postgres SQL database user password. Let me log into my Postgres SQL database server environment. There are two important ways to change your password. One, using alter user command. Two, using backslash password metadata command. Let me show you each option one by one. Here I logged into my Postgres environment, which is 11.5 Postgres environment. Let me go ahead and create an user here. Create user, user one. Before that, let's look at a create user syntax. Create user, user one with password as password. Old password. The user is created. Now if I exit from here and if I'm trying to connect with this user, the syntax is what is the host IP address here? Hyphen host hyphen H 192.168.40.132. Which DB I'm connecting? Let's say the default DB Postgres. What is the username? User one. And I can give port or otherwise default port will be picked up. Now it is asking me for the password called user one's password. You see, I'm able to connect. When I say select current user, I'm able to get my current user ID. Now, how can I change password for this user? There are two ways. The first way is using alter user syntax you would simply say alter user user one alter user user one with if you want to give option here password with password new password done Now if I quit here, if I'm trying to connect, let me give my old password, OLD PWD. It said that authentication failed because it's expected because my password is changed. I am giving the new password here and I'm able to connect to the user. Okay, but there is a little behind the scene story you need to understand here if you press up arrow here once you're in psql you can see the history that means this history is getting stored in the home directory under a hidden file called psql underscore history if i vi this file if i scroll down i can see the alter user commands you typed the create user command okay if you don't want this to be recorded like this okay just log into the psql and use the metadata command called password so enter the new password here there you go i change the password but if you go to 
the psql history and go to the last line it just records that you ran this command but it nowhere writes what password you gave like this yeah but who can access this psql history only the admins but still if you don't like your user id is getting uh, password recorded like this yeah change the password using backslash password option so while logging in i should give my new password sounds good but one important usage for this alter user is you can query this from you can run this from front-end tools like pz admin 4 okay. that's all i have for this recording in summary we learned two different ways of changing your database user password or if you are a privileged user you can change it for other users as well Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Talk to you in the next video.